for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff of the Mad Cheese, as always. Got a Madden 24 preview for you guys. There's a lot of early rumors and leaks coming out about what to expect in Madden 24. I'm going to break that down for you, as well as give you my own personal take on what it all means. Before getting into the video, though, as always, if you guys want me to continue this type of video throughout the offseason, uh, if you guys want me to keep putting out content about Madden 24 as things come out, please Woo! make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. This really helps out the video and the channel. Other than that, let's go and get right into the video. The first rumor is probably the biggest one, and it's going to be like an overarching theme for this entire video, and that is the focus of what Madden 24 is supposed to be about as far as the development team is concerned right now. The guys working behind the scenes right now are supposedly making this game all about franchise mode, whether that's offline franchise or online franchise. After years of pretty much just putting out the same thing over and over again and being heavily criticized for it, it feels like the franchise community finally... Um, um, you know, let EA know they're serious by stopping playing their game entirely. And this is basically due to all the franchise mode bugs and all the online issues and all the leagues that got lost. It got so bad that even in December, they started sending out emails apologizing to players for losing their franchises, essentially begging them to come back with discounts for the upcoming Madden 24 game. I think it's like half off or something like that. I didn't get one because I don't play CFM. But at the end of the day, this is the, one of their, you know, many attempts for them to try to buy back some loyalty with the fan base that they essentially have been screwing over for years and have ultimately lost on a lot of levels. This also includes something I'm going to talk about a little bit later, which is uh, the beta. They have some, uh, they've sent out coupons for the upcoming game as well as some beta invites. Uh, and I think the reason for that is because this year's not going to be a focus of gameplay. In years past, it's been heavily focused on gameplay changes. And I think that's really good. It might actually get me, if they make it, if they're making a lot of changes towards CFM, I'm probably going to get back into CFM myself because that was my first uh, passion when I started this channel. I did a lot of online CFM content and I, I think that's something I would probably end up doing again if they actually fix it and have it working properly. So basically what this means to me is if the central focus is only going to be on CFM and creating uh, you know new uh, exciting things for CFM it means other game modes are going to suffer now I'm not saying gameplay is going to get worse I'm saying that gameplay is probably going to be the exact same uh, they might change the sliders at the beginning of the year like they typically do so that certain things are more effective than others especially when it comes to defense sometimes uh, man coverage will come out the gate and it'll just be locking everybody down or zone coverage will be really effective in certain coverages and then they essentially change the sliders they don't really I don't think they change too much as far as the game's concerned, but they'll basically change like the effectiveness, they'll tune the effectiveness of certain defenses. I think you'll see that at the beginning of the year, but I think the gameplay for the most part is going to be pretty identical to what it is this year because the focus isn't on gameplay like it has been in the past. The focus is on CFM, franchise mode, offline franchise mode, things like that. So I expect the gameplay to be pretty similar, uh, which is a good thing because the gameplay is actually really fun. It's, it's the one thing they really hit out of the park this year. But you also have to worry about things like people that uh, basically spend all their time trying to find glitches. But things like the RPL reflat wheel, which is a glitch that's still going on now. I expect them to probably patch these type of things. But if the gameplay is too similar, uh, it's going to be too easy to break when it comes out in 24. Because you know so many people already have a year of playing this particular game and this particular uh, type of gameplay. So giving them another year with the exact same gameplay, I mean, I think that could really be problematic as far as the um, you know the the exploits go I think it'll make it that much easier because the game won't change enough that people will have to adjust I think if people will just continue on from the stuff that they were using in 23 and 24 will probably start getting really broken online uh, a lot quicker because of that so that's something to watch out for but in general the gameplay is great I mean I can't I'm still playing the game and still having fun uh, this late in the year another issue when it comes to gameplay is on old gen or last gen whatever you want to call it uh, last gen is probably just going to be a roster update they haven't touched last gen since madden 20 uh, and I, I know this for a fact because a lot of the exact same coverage beers and one play touchdowns and money plays work the exact same way since that since the last patch in madden 20. now getting back to the cfm uh, updates and changes 
Uh, we don't really know what they're going to have. I, I have heard some rumors about Superstar mode eventually returning, but I expect it to return more when NCAA comes out. I also expect importing draft classes to return at some point when NCAA comes out because that was something that EA always used to kind of bridge the gap between college football players and Madden NFL players was the ability to import those draft classes. It was their way to try to get people to buy both games. I also expect, since they need a big splash to kind of bring people back into CFM, I expect some things that uh, a lot of people have been asking for a long time, like create a create a franchise mode to return, uh, just more customization options in general, especially for commissioners in CFM, online CFMs, because there's so many issues that arise that really can hurt leagues. It's beneficial to have a CFM have more control to change things. I mean, it goes, you know, as far as things like small issues like people releasing players and quitting their leagues and stuff like that, or, um, you know, just being able to fix that or just any number of things that are really uh, would help the franchise get back on track. If there were any more bugs or issues, I fully expect them to um, to try to implement for commissioners, for online commissioners, to have more control that can go right to the root of a problem as they happen. Now, the next one's just a rumor, but it's something that uh, EA has to eventually add to their game, and that's crossplay. A lot of games are really adding crossplay. They added it to FIFA last year, which is the last FIFA that they're making. So ultimately, it's to be expected that that eventually they would take that same technology and add the Madden. I can't imagine it's too difficult. I mean, it's the same thing. you got two players playing against each other. I don't see where it matters what console you're on. But it's strange that it hasn't been added yet. Um, there's other football games coming out that are competing with Madden that are said to be having crossplay added. So that would look bad if they don't have crossplay added. Now, the next one here is about the beta sign-up, which is already live. If you follow Madden NFL Direct, uh, which is the account that uh, usually tweets this out pretty much every single year. Um, they already tweeted out something about a big opportunity uh, to log into your account and register for you know some sort of limited Madden NFL opportunity, which is typically the beta. So I already signed up for it. I sign up for it every single year. This is something that they already said, too, that's going to be available come June 8th. I'm not sure if that's when they're going to announce or send out the emails in reply to people to actually get the codes for the beta or not. But ultimately, a lot of people are suggesting that this is probably when the beta will become live. So if you're going to sign up for this, you want to try the beta out before the game comes out. Make sure you're available around that time. Uh, I will have a link in the description for uh, the sign up. If you guys just want to go into the description, you can click the links. You can sign up for it. It takes a few seconds. I already did it. It's very simple, very easy. Uh, but the beta is going to be available again this year as long as you're on next-gen consoles. Other than that, we also have some rumors about release dates. Um, typically it's been in August the last like 10 Maddens were all in August I think one year was August 2nd and the early uh, release was a couple days early you could actually play it at the end of, of uh, July which is pretty cool but the last two games have been released on the 19th and the 20th so it should be you know obviously you get uh, early access a few days earlier it was released on the 16th and 17th if you had early access since games are typically released on a Tuesday to Friday uh, I would say that that would put this game release around the 15th for August if you have the early access or the 18th for Friday for like the regular release date which is right in line with the other the last two release dates of the 19th and the 20th and I think that's kind of in line with like the shortened preseason that they've been doing over the last couple years uh, which makes sense so that to me sounds like the target release date the last part I'm going to go over here is your cover athlete uh, options. This typically gets announced in June. The last two years was announced in June. Last year was announced on June 1st. Uh, there's a lot of really good options. I'll go over a couple here. The biggest one seems to be Jalen Hurts, which would be interesting considering, I mean, I'm an Eagles fan. I'd, I'd be all for it. He just signed a massive contract, the most highest paid player ever in NFL history. Uh, so that, you know, that definitely helps this case because it's a big splash signing. It's a big headline. Um, and, but if he does get the cover, he's going to be the lowest rated cover athlete probably in the history of the game because I think he was like an 89 or he's not even, I don't even know what he's rated right now. Uh, Joe Burrow is another one who I think is a guy that could have been the cover athlete last year. Very popular player. Obviously, he's leading the Bengals to big things, back-to-back -back, uh, AFC Championship games, and uh, went to the Super Bowl last year. Also very popular. Everybody likes Joe Burrow. Uh, and another one that I think would be an interesting one would be Patrick Mahomes again. Uh, which, you know, obviously he had a great year. He won Super Bowl MVP, won uh, regular season MVP. He's been on the cover twice already, but it wouldn't surprise me if they had a dual cover with Patrick Mahomes versus one of the quarterbacks that I just mentioned, either Joe Burrow or Jalen Hurts. He obviously has a bit of a rivalry with Joe Burrow. I mean, they did that before where they had 
uh, Troy Palomalo and Larry Fitzgerald on the cover after a really good Super Bowl. So it wouldn't surprise me if they wanted to do that with Patrick Mahomes and Jalen Hurts. But there are some other good non-quarterbacks that could make it. Justin Jefferson is the one. If I were to lock in my bet right now, I think I would say Justin Jefferson. Uh, Mika Parsons is one that I mentioned last year when I did a video like this. Obviously on the, you know, one of the most popular teams in the league. So that's that's the vid. If you guys want to see more videos like this, as always, remember, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button and let me know in the comments section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Much it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.